Hello everyone, Chris with Excalibur Comics, Cards, and Games here again. Be sure and visit our site, www.excaliburccg.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. We've surpassed 500 views of our videos, and it's awesome. It's growing. It's growing like crazy. We're increasing subscribers, and we really appreciate you taking the time to press play, to watch, comment, share, subscribe, all that you've been doing. We really appreciate it. Let's move on to this week's new comics coming out March 20th. That is tomorrow, but you're probably watching it on the day of, so let's get right into it. DC Comics has released a brand new issue number one this week in the form of Constantine. Number one, all of you fans of Constantine, Hellblazer, Black Magic, the Occults, the Dark Arts. Well, Constantine is now being incorporated into the DC Universe, so it may not be as rated R as it previously was, but I'm sure that you will still enjoy this new series written by Jeff Lemire. Add it to your pull list. Continuing the mega hit series, Justice League of America, number two, hits shelves this week. We have plenty of copies of number one with multiple flags that you can pick up, so pick out your favorite flag and get it. Anyway, number two it hits the shelves this week. Uh, if you want to see what's going on with the super team in the DC Universe that is supposed to be the equivalent of the Justice League, check out Justice League of America. Fans of Green Lantern will want to pick up the next part of the Wrath of the First Lantern. We have Green Lantern, New Guardians, 18 that hits the shelves this week. Fans uh, wanting to see what's going on with the Wrath of the First Lantern, pick up this issue. Also out from DC Comics this week, another mega hit series, Justice League, number 18, written by Jeff Johns with the art by Jesus Sias. Be sure and check out this new issue because it looks like they are expanding the superhero team roster for the Justice League, starting with this issue. Hitting the shelves this week from Marvel is Extermination, number one. If you're a fan of Age of Apocalypse, Extreme X-Men, or Astonishing X-Men, you're going to want to pick up this first part of this series. And when this series concludes, we're going to see the conclusion of Age of Apocalypse as well as Extreme X-Men. So be there for the beginning of the finale. Still fighting presidents, we have Deadpool number six hitting the shelves as he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with presidents that are dead. Also out from Marvel Comics this week is Savage Wolverine number three by Frank Chow. Wolverine is still in the Savage Land, but this issue seems to show us a bit more into what is going on with this journey into the Savage Land. Pick it up. Continuing from Marvel Comics this week, we have Secret Avengers number two hitting the shelves. We do have copies of number one here on the shelf, so you can get in on the ground floor of this new series about the Covert Ops team in the Marvel Universe. This particular issue sees the addition of one fan favorite, Taskmaster, hitting the team. Check it out. Also continuing this week, the Galactic Fairing Space Spanning. Nova number two hits the shelves this week. We are currently out of number one, but we do have more copies coming in, so you can get that first issue if you haven't already. The story continues here in issue number two, written by Jeff Loeb, with art by Ed McGinnis. Great looking series, great first issue so far. Check out number two. This week from Image Comics, we see the release of Five Ghosts, The Haunting of Fabian Gray, number one hitting the shelves this week. Written by Frank Barber, with art by Chris Mooneyham. This is an action-adventure series about a man who is actually possessed by five different ghosts. If you click on the link below right here, I have more information about this series that you can click on. Go right to it, find out more about this character and the ghosts that he's possessed by. Pick up number one this week on the shelves. Hitting shelves this week from IDW is Mystery Society Special 2013. If you're a fan of Steve Niles, this book is also drawn by Andrew Ritchie. If you're a fan of Steve Niles and the Mystery Society, follow the team as they embark on a journey at the bottom of the ocean with a mysterious collector with Jules Verne's brain in tow. Shake it off, baby. All right, speaking of tongues, baby.